Hello Zany friends and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about two five star reads that Marshall has read none of. I'll be back. Uh, so the two books that we're talking about today are House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune, which Marshall is really excited to read. Yes, I am. <laughs> and the next book is called Anxious People by Frederick Bachman. And uh, let's start with House in the Cerulean Sea. I'm not going to talk about it too much because of course Marshall has not read it, but I will give a short synopsis and a little bit of my thoughts about this whole thing. And at least I've read like a couple of chapters so far. I just haven't gotten far enough in. Mm -hmm. But like, there's magical children. There is. So it's a story of a man who basically works in a department that regulates magical children orphanages, orphanages for magical children, um, and his job is to go visit the orphanages and uh, make sure that the kids are being taken care of okay, but he works in a very strict environment. So when he's not at the orphanages, you know, there are ways he has to dress and there's things that he has to do or else he gets demerits, okay? So he follows everything by the letter of the law until he is called up to the upper management who decides they're going to send him to a very special orphanage that's very, very hush-hush that is on an island in the middle of this really blue sea. Now, he as a person has been dreaming of going to the beach his entire life, so he's excited. And when he gets to this orphanage, he finds out that not only are these children magical, but they are very unusual, in, including that there isn't a child who is the Antichrist in here, and he's six years old. And uh, so he discovers the kids and he just learns so much about life on the island. So let me tell you how I feel about this book. Like I said, this is these are both five star reads, right? Mm -hmm. This book was probably one of the most perfect books I have read this year. It is so magical that I have to draw comparisons to Harry Potter, which is of course my other favorite book series ever. The kids are lovely and fun and quirky and real. The relationships in this book are so sweet. And the lessons that you learn are just so amazing and real. And I just, I can't stop talking about how great this book makes me feel. That's what you really need, folks. Yeah. Not just a book that's like, oh, that's entertaining, but a, ju a book that makes you go, hmm, I feel things. And don't just take my word for it. Everyone I've talked to that's read this book has been like, this is one of my favorite books ever. And it, to the fact where I just, I really want to reread this book, like now. I, I like now. Um, <laughs> I, I just want him to finish the book, like, so badly. The, if we're looking for other comparisons, like, from what I'm seeing right now, this feels almost like the guy from Joe vs. the Volcano goes to Miss Peregrine's School for Unusual Children. It feels like that. But it's lighter. It's yeah. more joyful than that. Mm -hmm. um, pick this book up if you haven't already. It is a young adult book. But it's, uh, it's, just, it's just so wonderful. I It'll just can't. It'll make you feel young adult again. I can't get over it. So the second book we're going to talk about is Anxious People, and that's by Friedrich Bachmann. Uh, I got actually two versions of this book. I got uh, one from audiobook from Libro, and then I got one from Book of the Month, and I decided that I was going to listen and read parts of the book at the same time, but I mostly listened to it, which I highly recommend if you are going to. Uh, pick up this book, get the audiobook, because the girl who does the narration in this book is fantastic. Even though there are like six or seven girls in the cast of characters that are prominent, you can tell exactly how she speaks, who it is. And I mean, I even listen to my stuff like 1.5 times faster than what it regularly goes, and I can still pick that out. So, again, awesome. Here's the story of Anxious People. It kind of jumps around a little bit, so I'll try to be more concise. But the basic plot of this story is that there is a bank robber, and the bank robber, after robbing a bank, see, I can't, it's really hard to talk about this book because 
there are things that, that might give it away. So I'm going to try this. After the bank robber robs the bank, they go to an apartment like open house and accidentally holds people hostage, but doesn't mean to. So this story is told from like kind of an omniscient narrator point of view, as well as uh, police interviews. Uh, the, there's two policemen, one's a father and his son are actually both policemen in this case. And it's told from the them talking to the people that are in the open house. But this is not chronologically told. And this is in fact the beauty of this story because you they will tell you a little bit and then they'll move and tell you something that happens like over here. But it also is told chronologically. I'm, I'm telling you, it is so hard to explain this book. It is so hard. But what's the funniest thing about this book is that the narrator many times will tell you that this is a story about idiots. Many times this is a story about idiots, but it's also the story about love. And inherently, it's also a story about suicide. And you're, you're saying to me, Lainey, that sounds like dismal, right? No, no, no. The way this book is told is so like uplifting and fun that the suicide, even though it kind of is told as an afterthought, and is even though it's really the base meaning of this book, it's more about preventing suicide, okay? It's more about like support in order to prevent suicide, if that makes sense at all. And that's really all I can say about this book without giving a lot of it away because like just nuggets and like connections of people in this book and how it's all layered on top of each other is just so insanely well written and so just genius. And when I was listening to it, I was laughing out loud and like, I was like, dude, I'm just listening to my book, but like, it's just funny. And uh, guys, pick it up. <laughs> great great book um i will definitely read more by friedrich buckman i had not he read um i mean he wrote a book called a man called ove and i hadn't really picked it up because i thought it, it sounded kind of like boring you know very dramatic but i don't know if their books are like this i might i might okay all right so yes i have just jabbered on and on and gush 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 but which means these books are really freaking <laughs> good you should probably go watch them right now Thank you so much for watching, but until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.